If you guys are anything like me, this game has ruined your sleep schedule for the sole purpose of accomplishing mankind's greatest achievement. Domesticated fires you might ask? Nah. Traveling to the moon? No way. Again in that W, now you're talking. And there are a lot of things that prevent us from achieving this goal, but it can be summarized in three words. You are trash. Now for some people, it's hard to admit this, but that's what this video is all about. We're going to take a look at why I, myself, and a lot of other people are trash at Apex Legends, and how to get out of the landfill, secure that bag, or just win more often, man, that's what I'm trying to say. These upcoming tips are in no particular order, so don't take these at face value. They are all just as important as the last, but throwing all that away, the number one reason we're not going to get this bread is because we can't aim. Now coincidentally, I have a video that goes over improving your aim, reflexes, and your reaction time. So if you want a more in-depth explanation for this first tip, I definitely recommend checking that video out. But to summarize it, it all comes down to proper warm up, being comfortable with the gear that you're using, and practice. Currently, the best way to warm up in Apex Legends is by going into the training mode, taking some shots at some targets, and that's not really that great though. So the best option you have is jumping into multiplayer matches and forcing yourself to take a lot of fights. The reason this tip is listed first is because good aim is the basis to improving at Apex Legends. All other tips are going to be pretty much useless if your aim isn't continually getting better. Second tip to improve at this game also ties in with the first tip and that is your settings are completely off. Your FOV, DPI, in-game sends, and graphic settings are all over the place. Now obviously, this all comes down to personal preference, but there are some settings that are much more beneficial than others. There's a nice website called prosettings.net. It's a resource for people who are interested in finding the best settings and gears for competitive games. My previously mentioned aiming video also goes into some settings for your mouse to help improve your aim. The biggest issue I see across the board is people's mouse sensitivity being so high that they often are forced to overcorrect. Try turning it down a little bit until you find a more comfortable sensitivity to work with. Graphic settings also play a pretty big role to how well you perform in this game. Competitively, most players choose to lower their graphical settings and disable various settings like volumetric lighting and dynamic spot shadows in order to achieve the maximum FPS possible and also getting rid of some useless eye candy in the process. The third way to not be trash is to focus on your position and prioritize taking certain fights over others. Now, this can mean a ton of things, but to keep it short, you want to make sure you're never in a state of disadvantage. You can do this by making sure you have a better position than the enemy, meaning having high ground, having cover, being in the ring, and watching your flanks. As for prioritizing certain fights, you always want to consider your exposure to flanks and your openness after taking shots at an enemy and revealing your position. Also, rezzing in this game is relatively quick, so taking shots from afar where you know you won't be able to kill a player is dangerous considering how loud gunshots are in this game and how easy it is to hear them and have an enemy team push on you, putting yourself in between two different teams. Fourth tip to help us out is learning the movement of this game. The movement mechanics in this game are really fluid and you're given a lot of options to be creative and outplay your opponents. There are plenty of movement guides out there, as I won't be going too in depth into any mechanics, I'd recommend checking some of those out, but some useful and easy tips are that you're able to slide by running and tapping the crouch button, which drastically enhances your movement when sliding downhill. Sliding can also improve your movement on flat ground by simply sliding then jumping immediately after but be aware you cannot spam this and need a couple seconds to build back your running momentum you're also able to climb on top of a lot of surfaces by running at them and holding space like i said earlier these are very surface level examples to the advanced movement available in this game fifth and final tip to not be trash at this game is to learn the tier lists now respawn has released a pretty balanced game in the sense of their legends the only quote unquote bad legends in my opinion are the ones who have larger hitboxes than others, that being Gibraltar and Caustic. Now this does not mean they are not viable, but having larger hitboxes compared to say Wraith with one of the smallest hitboxes in the game 
I hope you can see why I rank them lower. As for guns, there's plenty of debate on where some guns line up. I'll be throwing up my tier list on the screen now. And if you disagree with any of them, I'd love to hear it down in the comments. This isn't to say you won't win any fights if you use a lower tier weapon, but if two people with similar skill level were fighting, one was given a P2020 and the other a Spitfire, the chances of the Spitfire winning would be much higher simply because of the gun's strengths. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't want to make it too long, but just want to say thank you for watching the content on the channel. Thank you to everybody who's been subscribing and enjoying the videos. I'm loving all the comments so far. Hopefully you guys stick around for the content. If you do and want to show some support, consider subscribing. That's the best way to do it and it lets me know that I'm doing things right. Also, make sure to dislike it if you didn't like it and let me know what you didn't or did like about the video or overall content on this channel. See you guys in the next one.